Welcome to Will It Fits. Today, I'm hanging up this shelf. And what we're looking to do is to hang it so that this end is flush with the wall. And to do that, we're gonna put some keyhole slots in there. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the first step would be to mark the back where you want to put the keyhole slots. I chose to do three on this. It's six foot long shelving. There's a lot of different ways to fasten it, but I like to do this right into the studs of the wall. Gives you a lot of strength and it'll hold up good. So I ended up measuring about five inches from the end here, put a mark. And since I want it to go into the studs, um, I don't want it to go into every stud, so I did three total keyhole slots. So here's the first one at about five inches from the end. And then 32 inches is where I put the second mark. And then a couple more studs down at 64 inches is where I put the last mark. The next step will be to drill the hole so that you can plunge the router bit into it and then route out the slot that the screws will eventually fit in. And I'll show you what that looks like. First thing I'm doing is I've got a, a hole that I've drilled here, uh, two and a half inches down from the top. I want to give myself some room so that when I do the key slot, I can go up. So that when I go to hang this shelf, the screw goes in the hole and slides up into position. And so, just to give you an idea of what that looks like, so here's my mark, two and a half inches down. And as you can notice on my drill bit, I put some tape on there, and that's at about a half an inch. And the reason I did that is so that I don't drill a hole all the way through this. So as I drill down, I'll know when to stop. And this is pretty soft material, so it's easy to uh, not go too crazy with it. So you don't need a high speed or anything like that. That's how you get your hole started. Now that I've got the holes drilled, I'm gonna put this bit, which is a key slot bit, into a router and we'll put it inside this hole and just route a straight line up maybe just about an inch just enough to give yourself the screw head something to grab a hold of and keep this shelf secure using gravity okay when you set this router bit in there there's a one thing you'll want to note it does have a cutting edge but only about halfway up the shaft there and that's to cut away the narrower slot and then of course there's the edge that cuts the bigger slot below it which will hold your screw head and so make sure that when you set it in your router that your cutting head the entire thing is flush so I can probably lift this up a little bit more and make sure to give myself a nice little lip that the screw head can hold on to. All right, so this is what it looks like in your router. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the hole and turn it on. I've got this on a really low speed and I'm just gonna route right up to this line that I drew uh, as straight as I can. If you wanna use a straight edge or a guide to run this along, you can, but this, like I said, this is pretty soft material so you can get through it pretty, pretty easily. Now, if you look at it, oh. sorry, I had to clear out some of that sawdust. Now, if you look at it, this would be what it would look like when you put a screw head in. So this would be in your wall. You'd attach that there and it would just slide up and give a nice good grip to that wall. So I've got the three screws in. I just used one of these stud finders to find where the studs were. And spread them out 32 inches apart from each other. So we're going to go ahead and slide that shelf on. 
and hopefully should be a perfect fit. When you're doing these keel slots, you kind of have to guess a little bit at first. I probably have this uh, screw head out about a quarter of an inch. So as long as this screw head fits into the hole and slides up that slot, we should be good. Okay, so I actually had to bring the screws in a little bit closer to the wall, but as you can see, it's sucked in nice and tight so nothing falls back there. And if you take a look at your level, we're looking pretty good. The nice thing I like about this is when it comes time to uh, remove the shelf, all you gotta do is lift it up and pull it away from the wall. The shelf was actually here before and it was screwed right to the two by fours. And I kind of refinished and repurposed the shelf to go with my kid's room, but I don't want it to be a more permanent type of situation there. So this is, keyhole slots are a great way to Put some up temporarily, but nice and secure. And then when you're ready to take it down, you just lift it up and pull it away. This is Will It Fix. Have a great day.